Hey there Facebook, hope you're all doing fantastically. Welcome to today's show. Hope you're all doing super well. So today what we're going to be talking about is we're going to be talking about how to get more done every single day. How to go about getting more done every single day. That's what we're going to be talking about today. Uh, as you guys are tuning in, let me know where you're tuning in from. Hey mum, hope you're well. Um, so we're going to be getting started in a couple of minutes. Just going to wait for a few of you to jump on today. Uh, we're going to get started. We're going to be talking about how to get more done every single day. That is what we're talking about today. And there's five main things we're going to talk about around this today. Five main steps on how to get more done. Uh, because it's really, getting more done is a very simple process. Just not a lot of people know how to do it. Um, so many people get caught up into the like nitty gritty of things. Uh, they move into procrastination. They... Uh, you know, look for the perfect thing to do, right? The perfect way to do something specifically. And there's never really a perfect way to be able to do that. Um, people are looking, striving for, for perfection, not for getting things actually done every single day. So we're going to be talking about how to get more done today, every single day, so you guys can start getting the results that you want. And Two, two times your productivity every single day as well, just by using this very simple five-step methodology that I'm going to be talking about you uh, to, with you guys today. So as you're tuning in, like and share the stream, say good day, say hi into the comments, and uh, let's get started. So f when it comes to really getting more done, it's about moving out of what you're doing at the moment. So a lot, it's, it's about having an awareness around what it is that you do every single day, which is the first part. And it's not part of the five steps that I'm gonna be talking to you about today, but it's a very, very uh, important part of the process to really get out of the state that you're in to start with. Because um, when you're looking to get more done every single day, it's like, you've gotta, you've gotta like, be aware of what you're doing and where you're spending your time during the day to start with before you can get more done because if you're not aware of something then you're completely unaware as to how to get more done right because you just literally are at a point where you know you might be busy which is once again um, a use of language that a lot of people use i'm busy and it's like really are you uh are you really busy right you speak to people that are uh, that actually have quite uh, like that do a lot during their days. They don't say I'm busy. They say, "Cool, we've got this. We've got this. We've got this. We've got this. This is what we're doing, right?" They're, they're speaking in very, very different forms of language as opposed to somebody uh, that comes in and says, "I'm busy." So first of all, it's about being aware, right? You got to be aware of where you do spend your time during the day because. Uh, I'm going to give you a very simple five-step process that you can go through to be able to get more done because a lot of it is coming down to this one thing that I'm going to be speaking to you about today on how you can go and get more done is the way that you do this one thing because a lot of people get caught up in the details, a lot of people get caught up in heaps of other things which really just aren't relevant to what they're looking to do. And if you can just do this one thing incredibly well, uh, you will find that you'll get so much more done during the day. And that number one thing is the way that you solve problems. It's the way that you solve problems every single day because there is going to be things that will come up during the day that will challenge you. And there'll be things that will take your focus away from what's really important to move your business forward. And if your problem solving skills aren't quite where they should be when it comes to getting more done dur during a day, then your problem solving skills, if that's not sharp, you'll continue staying exactly where you are, continue getting the exact same results, and you'll continue on the exact same path, which will leave you a month, three months, six months down the track with no, no real uh, sort of venture forward to the result that you're after. And me being an incredibly results oriented person, I'm looking for progress over perfection. You want to be writing that down. Progress over perfection. Being better than the person that you were yesterday. Too many people are looking for perfection and they're not getting progress. I want progress. Tiny steps, 
towards a greater opportunity and a greater vision of where it is that you want to go. Progress over perfection. Being better than the person you were yesterday. There'll be things that will come up every single day that will take your attention away. And it's about your ability to be able to problem solve all of these aspects that are going on around in your life at the moment to be able to determine the appropriate actions that you must do in order to get the result. So many people procrastinate, so many people sit where they are, so many people stay where they are, and they don't they don't have the ability to be able to problem solve or strategic think or be able to literally move forward and progress over the perfection that they're looking for. Perfection will not move you forward. You can perfect things over time. It is progression over perfection. And we're going to be giving you five steps today to be able to problem solve and move forward faster uh, so that you can actually start getting the results that you're after rather than looking to perfect things to stay where you are so you don't progress. So I'm going to be giving you five steps today to go through that. And number one is to be able to like and share the stream first. The number one is to be able to identify what the problem is to start with. What is it that has been holding you back from being able to progress forward and to today? And it is not procrastination. Procrastination is a result of what it is that's been holding you back to today. And it's an element of knowledge or a skill that you are working on in order to get there. So it is identifying what is the problem? What has been holding you back? What has been stopping you from stepping into a better version of yourself? What has stopped you from being able to solve this problem, right? What is it right now the number one thing that you must identify moving forward. So it could be that you have some challenges around getting more leads. So it's identifying what is the problem that you have right now about generating more leads. And a large percentage of people is they do not have the knowledge. They're going from YouTube clip to YouTube clip blog to blog, and they're getting several different aspects from several different people around what to do, and it's what I call information overload. Uh, I've had so many people come to me in information overload, and I can tell you there's so many other people in our exact same space with the exact same problems that are going, having people come to them with the exact same challenges, right? So it's problem solving at its best, identifying what it is first that's been holding you back. And I'm telling you now, it is no doubt a lack of a skill, right, that you do not have at the moment, yet you can learn. Everybody has learnt this skill, right? All the people that have done well in marketing have learnt the skill, right? The, even the people that are successful, that also outsource marketing, they, a lot of these people already have a really in-depth understanding as to how to go about marketing themselves as a business owner. So it is a skill that you must develop over time. You do not have the skill at the moment. Notice the language that I'm using to, sorry, getting um, caught. Time. So you do not have the skill at the moment to be able to market. Notice the language. It's not, I, can't, I don't understand it. I can't do it. It's like you do not have the skill at the moment. So number one, you've got to identify what it is that is holding you back from being able to get the leads. It might not be leads. It might be sales, for example. You've got to identify what part of the sales process is that's letting you down at the moment and holding you back from being able to get the sales result that you're after, right? So you gotta identify what that is first, which is step number one, you gotta identify problem solving. What is the problem, right? You gotta identify what it is specifically. A lot of business owners, it is the information overload around all the different blogs they're going through, all the different videos they're going through because they're trying not to spend money, right? They're focusing on the, uh, like they're not focusing on what's going to get them results. They're focusing on spending the money and looking at free stuff, right? Which is once again, another identifiable process around the mind that's holding them back from being able to do it. So number one, you gotta identify what is the real problem. Number two, you gotta define it. 
You gotta define what does that mean for me in this moment, right? Once you've identified the problem, now you gotta define it specifically. What is it about lead generation I do not understand? I do not understand at this stage, at the moment, I do not understand the tech side. So I need someone to help me walk through that process, right? I need somebody to just show me a roadmap of what I must do in order to generate more leads. Uh, defining specifically, so once you've identified it, you define what is the stuff that I do not understand around this at the moment. Once again, the language I'm using. What is it that I do not understand about this at the moment? Define it. That's step number two. Once you know and identify what the problem is, you gotta define what the problem is. Number three, explore options, okay? Now, you can do this yourself. Explore different options. Do I hire somebody in to do it for me? Right, you look at your budgets, all that type of stuff, right? And you put together a budget, you explore options. Do I bring someone in to do it for me? I've got plenty of expendable cash, I can do that. It makes sense for my business. I'm running a successful business. Do I get somebody to come in and do it for me? I start exploring options on that. You might go, okay, I do not have 20, 30, $40,000 a year or $50,000 a year to get someone to do it for me. So I've got to look at alternative options and learn it myself. Every successful business owner understands marketing, right? So I'm just using lead generation because all of you follow me for lead generation, right? You follow me for sales. So I'm using this, these things because these are the first things that come to my head, right? And I'm helping, hopefully, you guys solve some problems now as well that's relative to you. Uh, number three, you're exploring different options. You're exploring what options I have. You're exploring uh, different people that I can go to to get the support. If you do not have them, the 30, 40, $50,000 to get someone to do it for you per year, then you look at consulting, one-on-one, -on -one, coaching, things like that. I can do two, $3,000 at the moment. That's cool, great. You're exploring different options, different people to work with. It doesn't have to be us, it could be anybody else, right? You're exploring different options. What are the options do I have to solve these problems? So I can identify what it is first, then I define exactly what the scope is I need around it, then I start exploring options, right? I do not overthink the options because I'm not looking for the perfect person to help me out. I'm looking for the person that's doing and practicing what they preach, is getting results in this area that I'm looking to solve, and I'm then going to reach out to that person directly. And look, if you're looking for lead generation, Serena and I, we spoke about it yesterday. You opt into one of their funnels and you see how quickly am I contacted? How quickly you know, uh, do I get the emails, the text messages, the process around all of this, right? I actually opt into it properly so I can explore. Once again, this is the exploring stage, right? Explore who it is that I wanna work with. The next thing is number four. You want to actually start taking action. So that's when you sign up to the course. You sign up to somebody to help you with the problem. And I tell you, right, if the problem is leads for you guys right now, I say that because you know a lot of you are following me for lead generation tips and strategies here on the page. So if you are having a problem of lead generation, that should not be like you, you, it should not be the biggest problem that you have in business leads. It should not be the biggest problem that you have in business at the moment. You want that problem solved ASAP, like yesterday. You shouldn't be thinking about where's the next lead coming from for me to have a conversation with. So if you're going to, this, this fourth step is the action process, like make decisions quick. Make them quick. You have gotta make decisions really, really quickly. You don't look for perfection, you look for progression. You wanna progress forward. If you've got a problem, you solve the problem fast. If you need support, bringing on salespeople to be able to uh, sort of manage the lead generation process and all this type of stuff, you want to make sure that you're solving these problems fast. Solving them very, very fast. 
action, taking action really, really fast, solving the problems quickly, right? If you haven't got money at the moment to invest large amounts, you look at things within your budget and you take action on it and you dive deep into it and you cut out all the rest of the BS going on around you and you focus on that and you continue to do that and you continue to work on that and stay in that one sphere of influence and actionable processes that you're using around this to be able to get that problem solved ASAP. You're reaching out to people that have done it to be able to get the and emulate the same results that those people have done, right? So that's specifically what you do. That's how you solve problems fast. You're gonna have problems every single day in your business. Every single day, leads should not be one of them, right? Sales should not be one of them either, right? You get the support, you get the training, you upgrade your skills around these areas consistently to be able to help yourself, get more leads, convert quicker, all this type of stuff. We just turned on a funnel for a client earlier this morning. Already, leads, like within 30 minutes, leads are coming through in their funnel. Leads, registrations for a webinar in a very niche market where they're looking for you know, advertising to dentists and all this type of stuff, right? So super niche market, you, uh, and we're getting you know, leads already and we've spent like $1.60 or something like that. $1.60 at the moment, already leads are coming through from the funnel, right? So leads should not be the problem for anything. Joey Bellotta, my man, bro, what the hell has been going on, man? Reach out to me, we gotta chat. Um, so, and this guy, right, he knows about action, right? This guy's a serious freaking bowler. He takes serious action, this guy, Joey Bellotta. Um, so, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, bro. You know what I'm talking about. And welcome, Ida. Welcome, uh, Mum. Welcome, Serena. Welcome, Veronique. Welcome, Jasmine. Uh, welcome you all to the call. Keep taking action, guys. So, this is how you do it. This is how you get more done of a day. You, your, your ability to be able to problem solve throughout the day instead of procrastinating on a freaking subject, right? If leads is the problem, this is the process to follow. The last one, which is number five, is to look back on the results and go, okay, is this getting me the result that I'm after? You gotta track it, you gotta monitor it, you gotta look back on, is this solving my problem? That's step number five, right? So after you have identified what the problem is, you've defined what it is, and you've defined it in detail, then you've explored the options to be able to solve the problem, then you've taken action on it, and you've actually said, yes, I'm gonna take a consultant, yes, I'm going to go to someone for mentoring, yes, I'm going to you know, buy the course or whatever that is, I'm gonna take action on it, I'm gonna solve it quickly, I'm gonna do it today, not yesterday, not the day before, not next week, I'm not gonna do it tomorrow, I'm gonna to do it in this moment, right? I'm gonna make a decision, I'm gonna take action, and then the last step is to look back over the results and look back over the mentoring and everything and continue to monitor, tweak, do all of that normal stuff within anything and then look back on it. Is it getting me the results that I'm after? Is the problem solved, right? You must track the problem. Then if you have to revisit it, then you follow the same process again. Identify, define, explore, action, right? Take action, which is the most important part. Once you've defined it, you've explored the options, take action, and then last, reevaluate, look back over the results that you've got as a result of the actions that you've taken to be able to get the result of solving this problem. And this is how you're gonna move it forward so much faster every single day is by your ability to be able to solve problems faster. As I said, if lead generation's a problem that should not be a problem in your business, it means your business is constipated, right? Your business, if it's not getting leads, it's constipated. If it's not getting sales, it's also constipated, right? You gotta get a pill going in to get the diarrhea going to splurt it out the other end. I hope you guys aren't too, like, you know, literal and actually seeing all of this happen. I know Serena probably is as well. <laughs> And it's funny I'm talking about this subject. Um, so, <laughs> so this is like this is this is like you should not have leads. You should not have sales as a problem in your business. It should be you know 
Like the problems or the, the things you should be worrying about in life, if anything you should be worrying about in life. I'm using very bad language here. Um, however, uh, if it is the things you should be thinking out is am I happy where I'm living? Is my family happy? Is my wife happy? Is my husband happy? Are my kids happy? Are my kids going to the right schools? All This is the type of stuff that you should be thinking more about and problem solving every single day, not leads and not sales, right? This stuff will come up. However, that's why you continue to retrain, train, retrain, re-coach your team, yourself, and always you've got to be sharpening the saw with yourself, right? Always got to be sharpening the saw. With me, I'm still learning things about marketing. I'm still learning new things. I'm still learning new things about Facebook. It's changing every single day. Every single day. And then something breaks right in front of us. And we go, what the f*** just happened? Right? And it happens every day. Something breaks. Something new happens. And we go, bleh. About going back about 12 months ago, all of my lead generation dried up from the funnels that I was running. All of it, dried up completely, wasn't converting all of a sudden, right? And it'd been working and it'd been converting this funnel at 30 to 40% consistently for over 12 months and it eventually just died. And I went, what the hell is going on here? Algorithms changed, things changed, interest-based targeting changed, got the, you know, like, all of that happened and it all shut down on me. It didn't work, it dried up. What worked before and had been working for a 12 month period, shut down, dried up and stopped, right? And this is the thing, and this is what it all comes down to, right? You must be problem solving every single day. If something like this happens to you, you got to solve these problems as quickly as possible. It happens to me, right? And I want to be upfront with you guys because this does happen to me as well. And I've got to jump in and solve these problems as quickly as possible and as fast as possible. And then, you know, 12 months later, it's still converting, right? The fixes that I did still converts the exact same way. Automated, I don't even touch it during the week, I just monitor it, that's it. Do not even touch my own lead generation anymore, right? So if you've got that problem now, it shouldn't be a problem, you should be able to do this, okay? So this is what you must do every single day in order to solve and move forward and get more done during the day. To get more done during the day is always around problem solving and your ability to be able to solve problems every single day as quickly as possible. And if you are solving problems as quickly as possible and you're moving forward as quickly as possible, yourself and your team have got to be on board with this. If you've got a team at the moment, they've got to be committed to solving problems fast as well. We do not want lead generation, we do not want sales as problems, right? There will problems come up from time to time, but it shouldn't be a vast, different problem where none of it none of it's happening right you gotta solve the problems fast and that's how you move forward that's how you get more done it is progress over perfection things will not be perfect too many people are looking for perfect and you hear it in people's language when you're speaking with them as well people are saying I just want it to be perfect. I'm looking for the perfect funnel. I'm looking for the perfect ad campaign. I'm looking for the perfect sales process. I'm looking for the perfect offer. It's not going to be perfect. I can guarantee you that because I've done thousands of campaigns, tens of thousands of sales calls over the years, right? It's never going to be perfect. You're never going to wake up and you're going to be feeling absolutely perfect every single day. You'll have days where you will be negative. You'll have days where you will feel like shit, right? It just happens. Everybody goes through it. There is no perfect day, right? There is no perfect, you know, uh, uh, you know, funnel, ad campaign, anything. You follow a process, you follow a system, it will get your results, right? Things do break, but it's your ability to be able to, uh, you know, how you react when these things happen, and it's the... 
a way that you go about solving these problems that will start getting you the results that you're actually after and stop you from the procrastination, the stories, the sitting there doing nothing, the overwhelm that people use. This is the language that's used. I'm um, overwhelmed. I'm stressed. All this sort of stuff because there's a lack of a process to follow when it comes to problem solving. And no doubt there's a lack of a skill that's got to be solved, right? There's a lack of a skill that isn't solved. You're doing new things, right? It's understandable. You're going into realms that you haven't done before, right? From time to time, we're going into realms that I've never gone into before. I'm getting new challenges and new things come up. And, you know, I'll get into a state where I'm like, Ugh! Ugh! however, I calm myself down as quickly as possible and I go, identify. This is the problem solving process. I identify the problem. What is it? What is it I don't understand? What's the problem? What's going on in this moment? Because I understand clarity is power. And I do this every time myself. Identify. What's the problem? What's going on here? All right? Why am I feeling this way? Identify it. Number two, I define around that identification process. Define it. What's going on? How did this happen? What is the specifics that's going on here? Then number three, I explore possibilities of how I can go about solving this so it doesn't happen again, right? Explore all the different possibilities and things that I can do, who people can help me with it, right? Because I understand I cannot do everything myself, right? Explore the different options that I have. Then uh, straight after that, it's action, right? I found the different people that can help me with it. I found people that can like, you know, cover this, do this, do something else for me. I've explored it all. I take action on it. I hire the person straight away. If I need to hire a person, I hire them straight away. If I need to put a job advert up, I will put that up straight away. If I don't do it, I direct it to someone in the team, right? Serena and I, we work like hand in hand like this. Right, and she gets these random messages from me, and she goes, "Wait, wait, hold up, Jared, hold up, I'm doing something else. What's going on here?" Right, and she'll go, Bleh! and then I've got to calm down a little bit to explain to her what's going on. Right, and and we take action that same day on that problem to get it solved because the longer it sits around, the longer it sits around, the bigger the problem gets. The more challenging it's going to be, the, the more, you know, times that you fall into these states of whatever you want to call it, the language is stress, anxiety, um, some people might even say depression or whatever else, right? I'm depressed or whatever the, the language is that you're using. Um, the, you know, I can't do this, right? Blanket statements. I can't do this. You know, this sucks, this is shit, the, the, the stupid, the, the language that does not help. Instead of saying, I don't understand this at the moment. How can I make this happen? How can I solve this problem? How, or, or more importantly, it would be challenge if you're wanting better language to use. Remember, the language you use is everything. It speaks words. It speaks how you feel as a person and how you interact both consciously and unconsciously. So then I go, we take action on it. We get it done the same day. We don't say, I'll do it tomorrow. Sometimes my language goes, I'll do it tomorrow. And Serena's already half done it. <laughs> on the phone, she's on the computer. Oh, it's done. I'm like, cool. We feed off each other, right? We feed off each other. And this is why it's good to have somebody else to work with as well. Because I get clients that are solopreneurs, they just call. When they feel like this, they call. Like our private clients, they just call. Jared, Jared, I can't get this working. I can't understand this. You know, tech's broken down. What do I do? My bot isn't firing off. Right? And it's not your bot, like your, your ass. It's like a messenger bot, right? My emails aren't working. They're not firing off. All this sort of stuff. And I'm like, okay, cool. Let's identify what the challenge is here. Let's define it, where it's coming from. Let's explore the options that we've got to be able to solve it. Let's take some action on getting this solved now. And then we look back on it and we say, okay, did it get the result we're after? Did it fix the problem? Or did it fix the challenge? And we say, yes or no. And if it's no, 
we go through the same process again. Explore, define, uh, sorry, identify, define, explore, action, and look back, make sure it's got the result. Same circle every single time. You'll get so much more done during the day. And if you've just got that ability to be able to call someone as well, it's a huge, huge benefit. So if you don't have a business partner or someone who has some equity in your business or somebody who you know is in your team to be able to say outsource or feed off or ask questions or all this type of stuff, if you don't, then you just hire somebody and make sure you've got the ability to be able to do that because it helps you move forward 10 times faster. Our clients uh, say to us that we, we split their Facebook and marketing time in half and their tech time in half just by that ability to be able to just pick up the phone and call us, right? Moves them forward faster, they get results a lot faster. It's like the campaigns we turned on this morning for one of our private clients, um, our scale partners. Within literally 20 minutes of it actually clicking live, the algorithm clicked in and they've already generated leads. They've spent $1.67, right? So uh, this is how you get results faster, guys. You have to, you must have a system within in place for you guys to be able to solve a lot of these problems a lot faster. It'll enable you to move forward quicker, which is what it's all about. All of this live today is like, how can you get more done during the day? And if you stop wasting your time on problems, and then you're going to move forward so much faster, right? Invest in yourself to get the problem solved. Invest in your business to get the result. At the end of the day, it's a freaking tax deduction when you invest into the business anyway. So, you know, if your revenue is 100, you spend 10, it's now 90 right? It's a deduction. It reduces it. You pay less tax. It's great, right? You pay, hopefully, your accountant reduces it down to a zero. <laughs> so, and you don't pay any tax. It's like, ooh, boom chakalaka. So, bonuses there, benefits there of everything. It's just like, go through this problem-solving process every time, and it's like, literally, every time you're getting overwhelmed with something, right? When you get overwhelmed with something, it's a skill you don't have at the moment, right? In this moment, you do not have the skill to be able to do that, but you don't understand it properly. You just need a process to go through, right? And you've got to really go through this specific process every single time to be able to solve the problems faster, right? Re repeat one more time for you guys before I go, and I'm going to answer questions. If you've got questions below, comment them below. Right? If you've got a problem right now, comment below and I'll help you solve it as well. Live, here on the page, live, right? So let's have a look at this, right? So it's as simple as this. Ah, overwhelm, stress, oh my God, I can't do this. Whatever the word is that's coming out of your mouth. Pfft. Number one, identify what the hell is going on here causing you to do that. What is causing you to do that? Identify what it is. Ah, I don't understand marketing at the moment. I don't understand this tech side at the moment, right? It takes 10,000 hours to master a skill or seven years to master it, master it. If you've just started doing it for a month, be a little easier on yourself, all right? Um, identify it. What is it? What's causing me to be like this? Number two, define specifically the parts that I do not understand first. Define it. Explore the options to be able to solve it, whether it's a consultant, whether it's you know going to that piece of software's uh, website, right? Identify, define, explore, right? What the options are. Take action, because the biggest thing holding people back is you know the fact that they just don't take action, right? Take action on it, and then the next part of the process is looking back at it. Did it get me the result that I was after? If it did, tick, you're all done. Move on to the next task. And you gotta think quickly. Don't go, I'll do it tomorrow. Don't go, I'll do it uh, you know, in an hour's time or whatever. Move on and do it straight away. As I said, I sometimes go, I'll do it tomorrow. I'm getting myself out of that habit. I'll do it tomorrow. Serena goes, when I'm speaking with her, I've already done it. Fantastic. <laughs> next. Right? Move forward so much faster. 
Every single day you're going to have challenges. Every single day you are, you will be challenged. Every single day you might go through a period of you know what I spoke to you there about the, at the start. However, you got to follow this process. Look back. Did I get the result? Did it work? Yes. Tick. If it didn't, keep recircling the process. Right. Simple as that. Put this on your freaking wall in front of you. Right. So if you're sitting at your office desk, look right in front of you and go, okay, that's the process I follow. Right. Every single time you'll move forward faster. I guarantee you will. Right. However, guaranteeing you move forward a lot, a lot faster as well is also coming down to how quickly you identify what that challenge is that's making you feel like that. It's making you do this, whatever it is, or that one thing within your business, and then how quickly you take action on it. Right. Speed of implementation is what it's about. Okay, questions, questions. Hit me below with questions. Let's solve problems. Okay, you know where. I do know where you are, mum. Uh, my number one fan, my mum. Say hi to everyone. Uh, uh, everyone say hi to my mum. <laughs> All right, my number one fan has to be acknowledged. Uh, so, well done. Thanks so much for tagging everyone. Serena, you're amazing as always. Uh Wonderful. Hello, Veronica. Hello, hello. Uh, don't let it set up two-step verification. What's that? Right? What What are we setting up two-step verification for? Now I will need phone every time. Okay, I'm looking back on conversa past conversations I had, all right? <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, what else we got here? This guy is the man. Listen to everything he says. 100% Joey, you the man, bro. You the man. Uh, Betty, welcome from Holland. I think that flag is correct. From the Netherlands. Good to have someone all the way from the Netherlands. That's fantastic. Uh, wonderful. We've got some people sort of posting their details here, which is okay. That's perfectly fine. If you guys want to post what you what you do on here, that's all perfectly fine. Um, I'm all for you guys networking. Um, and someone causes more problems if not solved. Yeah, all problems cause more problems and they feel worse over time when you don't solve them. And then you get all hard on all hard on yourself because you haven't got the results you're after and you haven't moved forward and it's just a revolving cycle. It's not cool. How do you find you don't know? How do you find a problem if you don't know? Um, you go you go to somebody who can help you do it, right? You go to somebody... I'm guessing that's what it is, uh, Andrews. I think that's correct. I hope I've pronounced your name correctly. I do apologize in advance. I've got a bit of a slippery tongue when it comes to uh, saying people's names sometimes, hence the reason I don't say Veronic's surname, because um, I know I'll slip up on that every time, and that's okay. Uh, I will get it eventually. Um, so how do, you, like, how do you identify it if you don't know what it is, right? How do you identify the problem if you don't know what the problem is? Um, well, the problem then is most likely ourselves, right? Because uh, ourselves overthinking the process. The process is so simple, so, so simple. It's not easy. It's very, very simple. Note the language. It's never easy. It's, it's a very simple process. If you don't know what the problem is, right? It's very simple. The problem is us, okay? And when the problem is us, We've got to then go, okay, defining what is the, well, the, the problem is me because I don't understand what's going on. I don't understand what the problem is. So the problem's me. It's a lack of knowledge around myself if we're talking about myself or if we're talking about something to do in the business, right? There's something to do, something's wrong in the business. I don't know what it is. That means we don't know what we don't know, right? So we define it as we don't know what we don't know. Because we don't know what we don't know, what the problem is. And then we're going to explore options. So we go, okay, cool. Now, I'm really going to need to learn this business game from somebody. So I will go to Google and I'll go uh, business coaches. I'll type it into Facebook, right? Business coaches. 
and I'll start exploring different options that I've got to be able to find someone that can help me identify what the problem is. I might go to a, success, a successful grandfather who has run you know, several million dollar businesses in the past, right? And I might go and sit down with him, take him for a coffee and I'll ask him some questions, right? Or I might simply just go to somebody I know that's in business and I'll start bouncing some ideas with them, take them for coffee, take them for lunch and just say, is it okay if I pick your brain for a little bit, right? And is it okay if we do that for a little bit, right? So that's what you want to do. You want to go, okay, cool. So you define, you explore, um, exploring different options with this person and then you go away and you take action, right? Take action on what was discovered. If you didn't, dis and then you look back on it and you go, okay, did that work? If that didn't work, you go through the process again. So then you'll go, okay, it didn't work going to my business friend. So now I'm gonna look for other, ident uh, like identify what it is, define what it is, start exploring more options again. And you know, what other business coaches, consultants and people like that, can, that I can go to to help me define what's going on here. And then you go, okay, cool. Now you've explored all the different options, you take action and you hire somebody and you bring them into your business, you start committing and working with them long term. Because if they're working with you long term, that way then they can help you solve more problems, they can get a better understanding of your business, they can get right across it, and they can help you start getting the results that you're after, right? So that's the way I would perceive that and that's what I would do if I didn't know what I didn't know. Because that's it. at the end of the day, we don't know what we don't know. So it's about... Uh, really discovering that, finding someone that does know what they're doing uh, and going from there. Okay, I need help with a partner with stock. How do I find someone with a stock business? Are you talking stocks in terms of uh, uh, shares? Is that what you're talking about? The stock market? Or are you talking about stock as in more product to sell? Both vastly different. Um, if you're looking for someone in the stock market, right, or if you're looking to find more stock, right, that would be a, a lead generation. Oh, if you're looking for someone to find more stock, you'd be looking for suppliers, okay? So you go and explore the options, right? Uh, people that are selling the type of stock or product that I'm after, and I would start contacting people, taking action, right? Start taking action and calling people, picking up that magical thing that connects you with another person that has something that you're after. Use that magical thing, pick up the phone, start speaking to people, right? Um, if and, and sometimes there is third party or middlemen that you can go to to help you find it as well. So if you don't know where to look and you're unsure where to look, you go to somebody who has an understanding of the industry, who's a middle person, and they can go out and find it all for you as well. All right, uh, stock with shares. Okay, so stock with shares, you go to a stockbroker, right, for knowledge, right? Or you go to somebody in financial education, right? Somebody who understands the stock market, someone that's made money on the stock market. Pretty simple. You just go to somebody who uh, knows how to do it. Hey, Will, hope you're doing well, bro. Welcome to the call. And I have the same, how to analyze the actions. Stop analyzing them for starters right? Um, how to analyze the actions. Stop, stop uh, analyzing them. And really, it's just about am I progressing? Okay. So say, for example, uh, I'm going to lose lead, use lead generation because it's a very sort of straightforward one that I talk about all the time. So it's like, okay, the action was I put in some place some paid marketing campaigns. And I followed a process that of a person that I hired. And when you look back on it and analyze it, it's like, has it been working? Have I got any leads, right? Did I follow the process that they gave me? Okay, that's number one. So you're looking back on it. Did I follow the actions that they gave me? Yes, I did. Number two, is it getting the results I'm after? Am I generating leads from these campaigns? That way, and that's, and that's the definition. Am I having more conversations? Is it working? Or is it progressing? Okay, so if it's in place and the, the job is being worked on, right, I have generated leads with the paid marketing campaign, then I've got the result that I'm after and it's progressing. Okay, so you're looking for progress over perfection and you're looking to progress forward. So 
you uh, put so 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 once you know what can I expect of my actions? Okay, what can you expect of your actions? Progress. That's the expectation. Is progress. It's we're not looking to perfect things or analyze perfection. We're looking to perfect things. We will perfect things over time. So from our actions, our actions are. Is it progressing me towards my result? And it's whatever the result you're after. If you're after leads, it's like, have my actions progressed me to generating more leads? Then you look back on it. You're looking back on it now? Yes. Yes, I am. It is doing that. It's progressing. That's what you're looking for. And your actions are defined to what's going to get you the result. If it's a sales problem, right, the actions are, I need to speak to more people during the day. So you pick up the phones and you start calling people. You cold call if you have to. Cold calling still works, right? You cold call. Or you buy leads off somebody. Somebody generates the leads for you, buy the leads off them. Uh, if you have a system in place to generate leads at the moment, it's like, how many calls have I made, right? Am I calling people every single day? If I have a sales problem, it means I need to speak to more people, right? Speak to more people, speak to more people, speak to more people. It might be that I'm speaking to a lot of people at the moment. However, I'm not closing any of those deals, right? So it's like, okay, if that's not happening, I go back to identify. I've identified what it is. So it's like, I'm getting plenty of leads. I'm just not closing sales. I'm having plenty of conversations. I'm not closing sales. Now I've got to define it, okay? The conversations that I'm having, people are not paying me with their credit card at the moment, okay? So that's defined. Explore options. I'm going to look for a sales trainer, someone to teach me in the art of selling. So I go and explore the options that I've got around all these different sales trainers. May I'll interview them and I'll make then, take action, make a decision which one I want, like straight away. I don't think about it. I don't leave it till the next day. I leave it to the next day, I'm gonna have more conversations, I'm gonna waste more leads, right? I wanna get it solved today so I can move forward faster. It's going to help me make more money. So, and then the next thing is me taking action on what the sales trainer tells me to do, right? How they tell me to articulate my conversations, how they tell me to script out the process, how they give me the, the process to follow, right? I take it all, I map it all out for my business, I start using it, that's my actions, I start using it, and then you, when you look back on it, after you've been using it for a while, has it got me the results? Have I seen an increase in sales? Have I been getting sales? Yes, tick, problem solved. No, cross, I go back to the sales trainer and say, this isn't working for me for some reason. Uh, and then it's back to identify a process with the sales trainer. And you might let him listen to some calls that you've made. You might let him... Uh, you, you might let him sit in on some of your sales conversations or something and help. He, and he can help define what's going on here. Then he'll explore the options to help you solve it and then you go and take action on it again, right? And then you look, after you've been taking action with that exact same process for a while, he's been giving you feedback, all that type of stuff, then you look back on it and you go, have I got the result? Have I had an increase in sales? Yes, I have. Tick. No, I haven't. Cross back around the process again, right? So it's a never evol ever evolving cycle until the problem's solved. And when the problem's solved, you can move forward with clarity, start getting the results you're actually after, okay? Uh, results must be sales from our leads, yes. However, they're two very different things. Generating leads and leads coming through is one thing. And then sales is a completely another thing. So they're two separate things. You can be getting a lot of leads, but you can, if you're getting no sales, that's a sales problem, not a lead generation problem. If you've got no leads coming through, right, and you're closing everything that you do get, but you've got no leads coming through, that right there is a lead generation problem. If there's no leads coming through your lead generation, that's a lead generation problem, right? However, sales, leads, and sales are two different things. You can get lots of leads and make no sales, that means it's a sales problem. 
if you are getting no leads, that's a lead generation problem. I think I've hit my hit it home on that one. So they're two different things, they are. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna wrap this one up for today. I'm sure I've answered everybody's questions. If I haven't, just let me know very quickly and I'll be able to answer those for you, help you guys really identify these problems and follow this process today. It's about getting more done during the day, getting more done so you can start moving forward with clarity and you can start taking action and kicking goals. That's what it's all about. So your ability to be able to solve problems is a direct reflection of how quickly your business will move forward and how much more you'll get done during the day. Thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. Uh, what I want to do is later this week, I've got, uh, oh, actually tomorrow and onwards, I do have uh, a lot of other... Sorry, I'm getting calls again. So, <laughs> so I've got more content to be able to share with you tomorrow, right? Uh, so you want to be tuning in tomorrow. I've got plenty more content. Same time, 12 o'clock Perth, Western Australia time. So uh, do I hire sales specialists? You can hire sales specialists, definitely. Definitely you can. Um, you can hire a sales trainer to train yourself in sales, or you can hire sales specialists to be able to take care of the process for you, right? Um, one of our clients, um, going back earlier in the year when he first started with us, uh, he had a sales problem, right? He was getting plenty of quotes, he just wasn't closing sales, right? Or as many as he wanted to. So we ended up hiring a salesperson, solving that problem, people that are specialized and wholly and solely focused on the sales process and closing more deals. Did he still have to learn it? Yes, he still must learn how to sell because it's still an element of his business that he must do and he must understand, right? So you sales is something that you must understand, you must still master. Every seven-figure business owner has mastered sales and the ability to be able to sell that one thing, which is their product. Okay, but yes, you can uh, hire salespeople as well. Thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. Uh, remember this one thing today. If you do not fight for your own freedom, absolutely nobody else will. So every single day, you must get out there. Every single day, you must follow this process to solve problems faster. And that's today, not tomorrow, not next week. I'll think about it, solve the problem today, you'll move forward a lot faster, and remember to be the warrior. I will see you guys tomorrow, 12 o'clock Perth Western Australia time, same time, every single day for the show, and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.